Hello everyone, um, happy International Nurses Day and welcome to our live stream for mental health nursing. Today we're going to be chatting all about our deg degree programme and what it's like to work in the specialism. Uh, there will be an opportunity um, during the session to ask any questions, so if you've got any questions about um, nursing or studying with us, be sure to add them in the comments now and throughout the session. So I'm joined today by um, an excellent panel of people. Um, so I'm Zoe, I'm from uh, the marketing team here at Edinburgh Napier University. I'm joined by Gavin, who's our programme leader for mental health nursing. Jessica, who's a lecturer in mental health nursing, and also Jenny, who um, recently graduated Edinburgh Napier and is now working mm. as a nurse. Uh, Jenny's actually on night shifts this week, so we really appreciate <laughs> her joining us. Um, <laughs> so we know that can be an intense time. So thanks, Jenny, and thanks That's to okay. Gavin and Jessica as well for joining us. Um, so yeah, we'll just get started. I'm going to hand over to Gavin, who's going to give us an overview of our programme. Thanks, Zoe. Uh, yes, yeah, so I am Gavin. Uh, I'm Gavin Cullen. I am the programme lead for mental health nursing uh, on the Bachelor of Nursing programme at Edinburgh Napier. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited to be here. Um, I've been in nursing since about 1991. Uh, I really am that old. Uh, and before joining the university, I worked in clinical practice for about 25 years, and that includes about 15 years as a senior charge nurse. Um, so where I thought I'd start is just to touch very briefly on why do a degree at all, um, because this is a su subject that comes up some of the time, certainly on social media, and uh, when you come to the university, we'll chat about it a bit. So um, you probably heard or even thought that nursing is quite a practical job. It's often said nursing involves an awful lot of practical work, and to an extent that is true, um, but in case you hadn't thought about this before, nursing nowadays, what you're joining when you join the nurse profession is something that involves really quite a high level of technical skills. That's the first thing to note. Um, and there's a lot of research you need to be aware of. There's technologies and treatments um, that you need to be aware of and you need to learn how to use some of those technologies and treatments. And those things are always changing. And they're changing for the better. So, um, for example, the treatments used in mental health practice are a lot more optimistic than they used to be um, uh, when I were a lad starting out in nursing. They're a whole lot better. And also, as we know from the pandemic, being part of healthcare and being a nurse, it can be quite a complex task. So the complexities, the all that the technological stuff, learning these skills is hard work, but it's what makes nursing worthwhile, I think. Makes it worthwhile, interesting, and exciting. So um, that's just a little bit about why uh, you would need to do a degree. And the degree that you would get in Bernapier would give you a really good foundation in the sort of skills that you need for uh, modern day nursing. And the other thing about uh, mental health nursing now is it's a much more varied role than it, than it used to be. So it, it covers the whole uh, lifespan. Um, you could find yourself working uh, as a registered nurse. And when you're a student nurse on placement, you could be in outpatient community, inpatient settings, GP practices. You could work in a variety of forensic settings, police custody, uh, prisons, other forensic settings, drug and alcohol services. It's a huge variety of things that you could be doing, um, both as a student on placement and then uh, after you, you qualify and register. Um, and most nursing fairly obviously is carried out face to face, but obviously some mental health care is now moving online. You do a little bit of that Edinburgh Napier as well. Um, and very much worth getting used to that already, I think. Um, so in terms of the degree at Napier, um, like all nurse programmes, 50% of it is described as theory or university-based study, and 50% of it is practice-based. Um, and over the course of the what is a three-year programme, you'd have six practice learning 
experiences, we call them nowadays. So that would be a combination of um, time in clinical practice, but also time in our simulation and clinical skills lab. So this, this is um, a center within the university campus at Site Hill that's run by really experienced nurses who will train you on all the um, core nursing skills that you would need. Everything from um, taking a blood pressure and somebody's pulse right up to immediate life support. And they even have um, a, a couple of rooms that are um, simulated wards. Loads of fun stuff in the, the skills center. Um, and, the, and the other side, obviously, are the, the theory modules. So in a three-year three program, you would do a number of theory modules each year. And there would be themes that run through both the theory modules and the practice learning modules um, covering uh, anatomy and physiology, pharmacology, not just treatments for health, but also health prevention, health pr promotion ideas, but very definitely uh, learning to assess um, health needs and then begin to implement care. And uh, perhaps as stating the obvious, you would uh, you begin in year one um, observing and learning and learning to assess care. And then as you go up through the years, you're learning, you're building on those skills to the point where by the time you leave, you're ready to lead care and coordinate care. And very much, um, although there's lots of people who join the, the degree program who've got previous experience nursing, which is brilliant, uh, you're not expected to be the finished article when you, when you start uh, the nurse degree program with us. Um, and I think that's probably all I want to say, actually, for now. I'm sure more will come up in the Q&A. Yeah, that was great. Thanks, Gavin. That was really insightful. Um, Jessica, do you want to uh, chat a bit about your experience and um, more maybe about the the course as well from your point of view? Um, yeah, sure. So um, my clinical experience was with um, working age adults, so that's people between kind of 18 and 65, and um, I worked in a variety of settings, but mainly in the community, which is where I particularly enjoyed working. Um, and then I um, went to university to do my PhD, um, which involved doing some research into um, an aspect of mental health nursing. Um, and then I eventually found my way to um, Napier University as a lecturer. Um, and uh, have been very happy here ever since. Um, so to, I suppose to give you a bit more of an idea of what the course actually involves, um, when you um, start the degree in first year, your first um, term or trimester, as it's called at university, um, you uh, study things like um, ideas about care and how to, how, what it means to look after other people. We also do quite a lot about sort of self-care and why it's important that nurses can look after themselves. Um, mm. And um, we do quite a bit about um, communication and how you actually um, communicate with people in a, in a sort of constructive and, and helpful way. Um, we also study um, human biology, so learning about all the kind of body systems and um, and things like that and, and, and also why that matters in, in practice um, and in particular kind of why would you need to know about that in mental health nursing. So sometimes people think mental health nursing is just all about the brain and it's just all about talking to people but actually um, it's a, we're serving a really varied population and we also try and make sure that we're always providing holistic care. It's really important to understand the um, physical aspects of health as well as the kind of psychological and emotional aspects. Um, then um, the following uh, term, you um, do your first specialist mental health module, which is a module that Gavin and I both teach on. Um, and I think that's a really fun module. Um, we've had really good feedback from the students this year about it. It's your opportunity to get to know lots of big ideas about mental health nursing and like sort of start looking into some of those things that really interest you. Um, so it gives you kind of a good grounding and um, starting to kind of learn about mental health. Um, 
And you also go out on placements. Um, so um, during your degree every year, you go out to different clinical areas and you um, spend several weeks in those areas and you do lots and lots of learning while you're there. Um, and you get to go to a huge variety of clinical areas. So, I mean, people go to um, inpatient wards, but they also go to community teams. Um, we've had students who've had placements um, at the police station with mental health, health nurses who work at the police station doing assessments. Um, you can get placements with charities um, who work in Edinburgh and Malabians. Um, so there's a huge variety of things that you can do and you can get placements with very specialist services like um, child and adolescent and all services. Um, so generally I think people really enjoy the placements and they're, they're really rewarding. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else really to say. I don't want to kind of give too much information and overwhelm everybody but maybe I'll, I'll leave it there and if you want to know a bit more then please ask me. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Jessica. It's good to hear about the variety um, in mental health nursing as well. And also interesting, Gavin mentioned the importance of research in nursing and that you came from that kind of background as well. So that's really quite interesting. Um, we'll move on to Jenny now, who um, can tell us a bit about what it's like to be a student nurse and now um, a qualified nurse as well. So. We'll Hello, my name's Jenny. Hello. Um, so bear with me because I've been on night shift, as, as you said before. <laughs> so I'm trying to gather my thoughts. Um, so basically, I decided to do mental health nursing for a number of reasons. Um, my granddad had Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, so that was one of the factors. And also because I know a lot of people with mental health. I've had mental health issues myself. And so I wanted to help other people, um, essentially, is why I fancied mental health nursing. Um, I had a couple of friends who'd been in APR. One's an adult nurse and one did learning disabilities and I'd heard how fantastic the course was, how you know thorough it is and the, all the experiences that you get and how it sets you up for being a nurse. Um, so I thought, why not? I'll, I'll apply, see how I get on. Um, what was quite good as well is I didn't have any previous care experience. So Napier is very good at letting you have the chance to do something different in your life because I came from retail and, you know, I wanted to do something more meaningful in my life. Not not saying retail's not meaningful to some people, but I just fancied a change, essentially, and wanted to help people, um, which I say I've got that off my granddad as well. So I'm hoping he's looking down on me while I'm doing this. So, um so yeah, basically, while I was at um, uni, I had a, a number of placements that I really enjoyed. I had a uh, community placement, I had a uh, rehab placement, I had elderly. So I had a, a good range of stuff that I, I really enjoyed all the different aspects of it. It was interesting to see the different types of practice and how different mental health can be in all these different, these different areas. Um, for me, I particularly enjoyed elderly. I'm now currently in an HB triple C ward, which is hospital based continuing complex care. So it's uh, seven gentlemen who have dementia that reside there. Um, and it's been such a wonderful experience, very touching and moving. And you know what's great about it as well is you're, you're there to support them and the families as well, which has been lovely. Um, I've had such a wealth of support from a senior charge nurse. Um, it's been a really great experience at the Royal Edinburgh Hospital, just if anyone's thinking of future careers. <laughs> and what I'll say as well is while I was at uni, I did, I did have struggles with my own mental health and the university was absolutely fantastic helping me through that. Um, don't worry if you have moments on placements where you feel, oh my gosh, I can't do this, because we all get moments like that. And I mean, I would message Gavin and Inga and Pam, and they would always be so supportive, get back to you. And they had services through the uni, like uni counselling and things like that, that were really, really beneficial. But I have to say, it's something I'm so glad I've done. I'm absolutely, you know, so grateful to Napier University for everything that they have done for me. And it's definitely something you will not regret because what an experience. <laughs> and this is just the start for me. I've just qualified in September. Um, I've been in my role eight months now. It's flown in. <laughs> I've really enjoyed it. but there's so so much chance there's so many chances for you know for development and opportunities they're they're more than willing if you think you know I've, I've had my experience here I'd quite like here they're, they're very accommodating in the Royal Edinburgh so you can try other roles and yeah I'm just 
very excited and I just like I said that all the coursework everything at uni was just was great it just really built up my knowledge and support and even doing things like practical <coughs> skills first in the clinical skills section was really good like Gavin said with blood pressures learning how to do injections really set you up and got you prepared for going into the wards so it was really good having a combination of 50% coursework and all the stuff at uni and then placements as well I had a fantastic experience so yeah you won't regret it <laughs> that's amazing thank you it's uh, so okay. nice to hear um your positive experience and also <laughs> why, why you wanted to um get into nursing as well so thank you for sharing that with us it's no problem um, at all. so we shall move on um to uh, the q a section now so um if you do have any questions remember to put them in the comments section um, we do have um, a couple of questions. I think we get asked this quite a lot about placements. Um, so I'll put it out there. Um, where what where would my placement be, and and how many do people um, like go on during their time at uni? Who wants to take this one? Well, I, well, I start, and if I miss anything out, <laughs> um, my colleagues can help me. Sounds um, good. <clears throat> so uh, overall, there are six placements across the three years there's two per year and the way the courses run now um you do they're, they're, the placements are linked to skills training very very carefully so we call them now practice learning experiences and one practice learning experience includes a component where you learn skills um with a with a bit of teaching online sometimes in the simulation and skills center with those experienced staff I was talking about, and then you go out on placement uh, related to, sort of related to those skills that you've just learned. Um, so there are six practice learning experiences, all of which include a placement, and there are two per academic year. Um, there are varying length. So um, practice learning experience one is only a few weeks long, I think if memory serves, it's five weeks long or even four weeks long. Um, and then they get slightly longer as you go up into second year. And then the biggest one that you do, uh, the one that all students really look forward to, I'm sure Jenny will confirm that, is practice learning experience six, which is known as your consolidation or management uh, placement where you have to do at least um, 12 weeks continuous placement in practice to demonstrate that you've really got all the, the sort of rounded skills that were that uh, everyone's looking for in a registered nurse. Um, the, in terms of location, um, Edinburgh Nippa University covers Lothian and Borders in the main. That, that, the 99.9% .9 of our placements are in that geographical area. The only exception really being um, we do we can get placements at the State Hospital at Carstairs. Um, so it's it's worth paying attention to that. So most, if you if you know Lothian already, you know that there's a lot of services located in Edinburgh, um, but there's also Mid Lothian, West Lothian, East Lothian, um, and obviously there's the borders. So I don't know. Does that answer the question? Do we think? Yeah, I think so. Um, I wondered if you had anything to add, Jenny, from a kind of um, experience there recently and how your placements helped you kind of prepare for going into work uh yeah so I think I think one of the main things is um I think sometimes I initially when I first went out my placement I was a bit skeptical of you know what was expected of me a little bit in terms of could I ask questions things like that I know the union said you can ask lots of questions and things but it's quite daunting when you go to your first one um, but I did, I just fired in and just asked, all I say is ask a lot of questions while you're out on your placements because they're there to help you and I've never been judged for asking questions, I've asked them several times over um, because it's, it's you don't want to risk your own practice, that's that's what I will say um, and what's good is that you'll have a practice, is it still called a practice assessor now? Because it used to be a mentor for me, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> practice assessor and practice supervisor that you'll be assigned um, and they are there to support you as well with your learning um, and they'll go over everything with you if you had any doubts. I've, I've had great experiences with my, my practice assessors and supervisors um, and I mean even if you have any questions like the uni is still there for you, you've still got a link lecture who you can speak to 
um, regarding your placements. But but yeah, I, I would say that, that they're exciting. Your first days, every single time I was so nervous. <laughs> but then once you've done your first day, there's nothing to be nervous about. And it's really, really exciting. Really enjoyed it, each one. Oh, that's great. Thanks, uh, Jenny and Gavin for that. Um, we've got another question here about exams and um, will will <laughs> students need to sit exams in nursing? What a great question. So the you 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 will be assessed a lot, as in you have to engage with um, learning and assessment activities a lot in the nurse program, and and I think it is probably fairly unique in the type and number of assessments there are. When the word exam is used, it often means a very particular thing, um, as in what I picture is rows of desks and people writing against the clock on bits of paper. So there's not really an exam like that. What we have for the theory side of things, the learning in university, are a, a range of different types of assessment. So there's one or two smallish essays. There's, um, but we try and vary the assessments so that the, the, the what we call authentic assessments, where we try and think nowadays about what would a, a registered nurse actually have to do in practice. So some of the time they'd have to write a report, for example. So some of our assessments are like that, where you would write a report in a particular way to present a bit of work. There's a poster presentation for one of the assessments. And there's also um, a, a, a verbal presentation where somebody records themselves speaking to PowerPoint slides. So there's a, a big variety of types of assessment because um, we think that's a better fit for the world of work that nurses are going into. And then in the uh, when you go to practice, there's also there's something called an EPAD. It's basically an electronic record of your learning, those skills that we've been talking about a few times, um, that you get signed off by your practice assessor as you go through uh, placements. So that's a, probably a much longer answer than the person might have wanted <laughs> in relation to do we have to sit exams. The only exam I can think of that we actually call an exam from within the university is this what's called um, an OSCE. And for the life of me, I can't remember exactly what it stands for. Um, it's Observed Clinical Skills Examination. So it's basically where you um, might learn, for example, to conduct an assessment, and then you'll go and um, role play with somebody who's pretending to be a patient carrying out your assessment, and someone will observe you doing that, and um, then and mark you on very specific criteria, questions you're supposed to ask in carrying out an assessment. Did you have to do that, Jenny, in your programme? Um, no, our programme was slightly different just because of the pandemic. We were in lockdown, yeah. Um, yeah. so we had like an alternative alternative thing. Um, so I missed out on that, which is sad because I would have really liked to have done that. That would have been really good, really beneficial, I think. But um, alternatively, it was... The alternative was good as well, so. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my, well, mic, my words are getting all muddled up. <laughs> no, it's fine. Thanks, Jenny. No, I think the, the OSCE probably sounds a bit scary, and I think some of the students going into it feel a bit anxious about it, but the majority of students come out the other end saying, I'm really glad I did that, because actually you're practising real-life skills. Uh, it just happens to be a, a graded, marked process kind of thing. Anything you want to add, Jessica? Um, I, th I, mean, I think that was really comprehensive, Gavin. Um, I suppose I was just thinking um, in second year, there's an assessment which involves writing a care plan, which is quite nice because that's something that nurses do in practice. Um, so I think there's quite a variety of assessments and, um, and you do often get, when you're doing the assessment, you get to kind of pick something that particularly interests you and kind of choose to... To, to sort of write about that, um, which is quite nice as well. Mm. That's great, thank you. Um, we've got a couple of questions here about more about the application process. So um, firstly, when should I put my application in? Um, and um, also, uh, would I need to do an interview? So 
it's quite an open question. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, I'm pr I, I might not be the best person to answer this question. Um, I think the applications need to be in in the, at the usual time that UCAS runs applications. Does that sound right? Um, we can um, double check that and get back to the to the person who's asked that directly. So so that's okay. Um, that we don't know that one. Um, and is there an interview that, that people do? Or does it kind of vary, depend? Well, the process is just changing. Uh, so in Jenny's day, you probably did a, a group interview. Um, yeah, I had right? a, a group interview, yeah. But we've just changed it to a, a scenario that uh, people observe and then comment on. And then that is um, assessed by the recruitment team. So it's not a traditional interview. Um, is that a clear enough description? Because it'd be a scenario that's related to, obviously, to nursing ideas. And um, bearing in mind that you don't really need to know an awful lot about nursing. It's just to get a sense of um, what you observe and your values. So your values are, are particularly important if you, you're coming into nursing. So it's just to have thought about those. And so by values, I mean um, just the, the way that you go about things. Are you compassionate, empathic, that kind of thing. Okay, that yeah. sounds, sounds good. Um, and yeah, we can uh, get back to the person who's asked that with a um, <coughs> concrete answer. Um, so I think we'll just uh, have time for one more question. Um, and I thought I would just ask you um, what, if you had like a piece of advice or what would you say to someone who's thinking about applying um, for for the mental health nursing degree here and um, if you just want to offer any kind of words of wisdom and um, that'd be great who wants to I go think, first <laughs> i think we should start with jenny because jenny's just yeah. come, out, come out the other end i think that would make sense yeah yeah I would, I would definitely say do it it's like i said before it's been one of the best experiences i've had it's so it's, uh, it's the cliche is a roller coaster of emotions, but the good thing is you'll always have the support from the uni. Um, the team there are absolutely fantastic. The lectures have been so kind, um, and you know I, I went into it not realizing how much I would learn. I know that maybe sounds a bit naive, but I just didn't know as much about it back then. Whereas like when when I went into it, I have learned so much. And the good thing is it doesn't stop when you finish uni. You're still learning on the job. Like you never know it all. Um, cause I think when I qualified, I thought, oh my goodness, like I'm going to have to know it all now. <laughs> I'm in charge of a shift. Oh my goodness. But it was fine. Like you, you, there's nurses that have done it for like 30 years at say, yeah, I'm still learning. So it's a really good foundation for going off and doing your, and doing your, um, your nursing, um, really gives you that, that base of what you need to know. Um, and it challenges you, but in a good way, it makes, you know, I've, I've, I've loved it. Absolutely loved it. Maybe I'll go back from my master's one day. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm brave enough. <laughs> you should definitely do that, Jenny. Definitely. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> yeah. And I think um, that was, that was, sorry, I, sorry to. Uh, I've done it now, haven't I? I said that I might talk over people because I'm <laughs> used, used to online lectures. I do apologise, but that's roughly what I would have said. I think um, my my advice is be open to learning. Be prepared for hard work. You will be capable of it. Um, and if you are interested in people, caring for people, just to, and have thought about, well, you've thought about nursing a bit, so um, go and find nurses to speak to if you haven't already done so, um, then come along. It's, it's a very, very, very worthwhile thing to do. It was the best career decision I ever made was to do nurse training. Uh, back in the day and that was a long time ago as I said already and the training is so much better now it's so much better than the training I did all those years ago That's I great. have to also add um, a colleague has popped into our chat room that I should have mentioned the nursing midwifery code during the question about interviews so I think another maybe another <laughs> practical bit of advice would be if you've never heard of the nursing midwifery code have a look at that online 
that's worth knowing about um, now at this stage. Okay, great. And Jessica, do you have anything to add? Um... Um, yeah, just just that I agree. And, and nursing is such a great job because it's so varied. There's just so many different things that you can do and mental health nurses pop up all over the place um, doing all sorts of different things. Um, so it's kind of something that you'll never get bored of doing um, and it will always be in demand. Um, I think I would maybe just my advice would be if you're when you're thinking about doing the degree is just um, just have a think about the practicalities in terms of finances and the fact that you'll have to be going into placements and things like that and just you know if you've got children childcare or whatever it's just worth having a think about that in advance. Um, definitely uh, well thank you all for that it was all great advice um, we will um, wrap the session up there but um, thank you to everyone uh, for joining us today and thanks to the panel um, for joining me as well um, if you've got any questions um, about uh, the, the degree um, you can um, email us um, at nursing at midwifery at napier.ac.uk just rolling across the screen there um but yeah thanks again everyone and hope you all have a nice evening thank you very much thanks, thanks for having me bye, bye. bye folks <laughs>